idea that you send a scout as Newcastle manager with a raincoat and two carrier bags off to South America to look for attacking midfielders. And he comes back with this complete list after two months, 150 people. That went out in 1950, that's just absurd. The way that real clubs perform nowadays and scout for players, they set up academies, they set up networks, they employ 100 people in a country to actually dig out and look for those players and, and sign them. And they build a picture of those players over a period of time. With the scouting network we set up within the game, you can start to invest money into building up a picture of local players within just about every country within the world. And you invest money. That money comes out of your wage structure. So it's actually having an impact on the money you can pay players and the money you can use to sign them as well. The scouting network ties in closely with the concept of player knowledge. And what that actually means is you get more accurate information of, of the stats of a player. Previously, as soon as you discovered a player, you knew everything about them, and that's not realistic. Whatever amount of money you invest, it takes a time to build that picture. You don't just get it straight away. So you'll see if you go to Spain and you start investing week one, then you'll have a reasonable picture of a number of players there. But they will all, within their skills and attributes, there will always be a band within those that's indicated to you. So you could take um, tackling, and it would have a band of 60 to 85. And as your investment starts to reap knowledge over a period of time, that band will reduce until you've got a complete picture of that player. And of course, the number of players you're getting the picture of grows and grows and grows as the weeks progress, as you put more money in. You can go to South America, you can go to Africa, uh, the big clubs in Europe, and you can go and scout uh, there and hopefully buy yourself a few players. The scouting network will also be vital for managing in the lower divisions. Everybody knows how good Ronaldo is or Ribéry, but when you're playing in the Ryman's League, you know, unless you've got very specialist knowledge, chances are you don't know who's good around that, those sorts of levels, or in foreign leagues, in the, in the lower leagues especially. That risk and reward that's, that's key to games, and that's important for us to get in there because signing every player is a bit of risk and reward. <laughs>